lagging, uh, they're not early adopters. Seven Papua New Guinean MSMEs and SMEs are amongst nine shortlisted teams to participate in a three-day jointly implemented boot camp to vie for over 90,000 U.S. dollars worth of grant assistance. A jointly implemented challenge by UNCDF, BPNG, Straight PNG and supported by the European Union aimed at promoting and scaling solutions for enhancing agriculture enterprise development in the SIPIC region. This is the day one of a three-day boot camp for the Agri MSME Challenge Fund PNG 2021. What essentially we are doing is uh, we are running this boot camp where in nine teams, which includes fintechs, agritechs, uh, microbank, training service providers, e-commerce solution providers, uh, community support bodies, that will be pitching their solutions for making the ecosystem uh, developed in the SEPIC provinces and UNCDF has organized this challenge fund to identify leading solutions that we can support through grant funding, technical assistance and mentorship support and bring these solutions to deploy in the, in the SEPIC provinces, both East and West SEPIC. The boot camp commenced today with an overview of an introduction of the three-day initiative. As rural populations suffer from the economic shutdown of the COVID-19 pandemic, the program is designed to bolster the support to rural entrepreneurship. This is being implemented for five years in the two SEPIC provinces with the objective that we would want to work in these three agri-value chains, namely cocoa, vanilla and fisheries, and help to improve the efficiencies and, and effectiveness of these value chains such that the benefits of the cash crops that are there in these provinces, uh, the, the, the income and the livelihood and the standard of living of the people engaged in the value chains enhance, and there are better returns that comes to the farmers into these value chains. One of the participating SMEs, AgriTech PNG Limited CEO, is delighted to be a participant. Well, aside from the learning that comes with meeting new people and the networks that are developed around here, um, I think the biggest um, gain for us as innovators in this space is some of the learnings that come with developing solutions, just the workflow, um, and also tapping into some of those resources that come with an event such as this, all the expertise that come with it, the specialists, and, and the training that uh, happens beforehand before we actually go and pitch our solutions to uh, the jury. There's a lot of good developers here to begin with. We've got some big corporates here as well who are also vying for that, um, for that prize. Uh, you'll find that, I think that's one of the advantages, we've built our solutions to cater for PNG problems. And, and that's, that's the value we bring into this competition. And I mean, I wish everyone here the best, hopefully we win, but you know, it's anybody's, uh, it's anybody's guess right now because the competition is so strong. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we go. The boot camp will conclude on Wednesday with successful pitches walking away with over 90,000 US dollars worth of grant assistance. Applicability into the SEPIC provinces and help the teams to fine tune their pitch. And the day three is the D-Day when these nine teams are going to pitch their solutions to a high level jury. And the jury consists of uh, regulators, leading businessmen, development partners, uh, stakeholders from the project and the SME Council. So this jury that is going to judge these uh, pitches made by the nine participants will come up with the top five. And those five teams which will emerge as the winners will become partners of UNCDF. So that's the stage where the partnership starts and we will work sustainable projects. We'll develop the projects with these teams and provide them with grant funding, technical assistance and mentorship support to implement these solutions into the SEPIC, work with the people, work with the communities and benefit the value chains and the people of SEPIC.